Hey Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation here and uh, I got a quick little video I'm making up here just showing you a new piece of gear that we've been working on and hope to get it done a little bit sooner before the holidays but <clears throat> it's been kind of hectic. But this piece right here uh, we're calling it our our shelter base and so it provides it provides a ground base for when you're using our uh, tarps or if you're using our ponchos, beasts or whatever, it provides a ground base for all that. The Osni cloaks, all that sort of, Osni blankets, all that sort of thing, poncho liners. <clears throat> this provides a ground base for all that. And let me show you how it all works here. This thing weighs about eight ounces as it is. We're going to include the tent pole adapters. That way it's all ready to go to uh, set up some tent poles with this deal. This being the shelter base and you can build up from there. So even if you don't have the beast, it'll still allow you to uh, set up a canopy. So as I mentioned, this will come in a matching uh, gear bag. We're offering them in uh, one color, dark OD in this color. So anyway, it rolls out as you can see right there. It's eight feet long, 96 inches. It's uh, 32 inches wide. So 32 by 96. Our beasts are uh, 78 by 24. So it's bigger than the footprint of the beast is even. Here's what we've got. So now this is the 2.2 honeycomb uh, ripstop fabric. So it's a heavy Heavy duty ripstop, but it's only about eight ounces in weight uh, by itself. And these aren't brand new, you can tell. I've used the heck out of these. <clears throat> these are out of my beast. So it's the same, it's the same uh, tent pole adapter setup that comes with the beast. Will also come with this. So when you get it, you're ready to go. You can use a set of your own tent poles, or you can use, um, or you can use, uh, uh, you can buy from us. <clears throat> so it consists of a clip right here. And then on the other end of a long strap, it's got a little pocket. And that pocket is where, a, I'll show you, is where a tent pole plugs up in that pocket. And it's got an adjustment on it. It's got a, a ladder lock here. So you can adjust that pocket length. So you can customize how your poles fit. If they're taller or lay out flatter or whatever. And then on your, uh, on your shelter base, there's four of these uh, tie-out tabs with D-rings. So all you do is clip this. Clip the clip right into there. That's secured. And now your, there's your pocket for your tent pole. So I'll go ahead and attach all four of these. And then this will be ready to put some tent poles in. Okay, now you can use your own set of poles. Uh, <clears throat> or you can use the set of poles from us. Uh, these are just, uh, well, when you look on the website, it'll say pole set, temp, Easton temp pole set. And the poles are already shock corded. There's two lengths of poles. You've got a little, uh, got a little shock cord strap here to hold everything together. You have a piece of, this is called Cant Slip is the name of this fabric. And if you've watched any of our beast or other other type things why you may have already seen me do this before but anyway it's nice quality Easton aluminum tent tubing made in the United States I used to be an engineer for Easton many many years ago and uh, I've been a fan of their products Obviously, 
I used to, part of my duties used to be, uh, <clears throat> used to do, I used to do destructive testing, wear testing, and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm perfectly suited for the job I have now. <laughs> right, so we just take an end of the pole. It's got a little tip in the end. Actually, this is a different, the ones you have will have a black tip in the end. You shove that tip in that pocket right there. Okay. I've got my holes in to the four corners. And now we just stand these things up like this. Then I secure this and the cord on here, the shock cord, which I'm going to show you an up close of that. Let's see how we're situated now. So we're at the middle point here. So what we want to do, there's a sticky side to this, or kind of a stickier side. And I just put that down against the pole. Poles, and then I just wrap it around like that. You don't have to be finicky about how you do it. If you have one wrap around there, it's going to be good. And you just put the end through the loop there. Then you just snug it up and take this cord lock. You zip that right up and now that makes it so it holds it pretty 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 solid so these poles won't shift and it should be where you're over you know pretty much the the center of the tarp right here so as you can see this forms the basis now with the shelter base Throw a set of tent poles, and like I say, you can use your own as well. And I'll put on the web page the uh, recommended length of the of the pole sets. So you know, if you have your own set, like say you got an old tent, you might the fabric might be crap or trash or whatever. You know, the poles might still be good. You could just cut those to length or whatever to give you the same thing, or you can buy these poles from us either way. But I can adjust these, the adjuster straps on here, I can pull them in a little bit more and it'll raise the roof a little higher if I want. So I can go lower than this or I can go a little bit higher. And if I use a little bit longer set of poles, I can go even higher. But I'm going to show you the PSTM tarp. That's our medium sized tarp, eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet square this will go over here really nice all right so this is our this is our uh pstm tarp and this is in the uh sil nylon no this is sil this is sil polyester and uh and you can see them on our on our tarps that's the lighter weight option our standard weight would be the either a 1.9 or a 2.2 ounce. So the PSTM goes on over here on the diagonal. So that gives you Kind of a wide berth to the sides and gives you some length in the back and then usually on the front i'll put a stick in here you know if the weather's not too bad i'll put a stick in here so i have awning if not i'll stake it down now for positioning here that's pretty easy all of our tarps have a tie out tab right at the very center of the tarp and what you want to do is you just slide your tarp till that tie-out tab right there is over the very, uh, where you tied your two, your two uh, hoops together. 
put it right there and that will center it properly over the uh, over the uh, tent tubing. Have my uh, ultralight steak. This out of my ultralight steak kit. It's Dyneema cord with uh, East Aluminum tent steak. And we got one of uh, Dutch Ware's hookworms. That set up, I just come out here somewhere and ground's frozen. <laughs> now I just come up here to this. This is why I pre installed shock cord loops. This tarp is all equipped for the ultralight kit. Need to have this up here. Try to do it so you can see it, but well, I've done this before. Anyway, so anyway, here's a way real quick to make a a shelter over a shelter base using the base set of tent poles and really any tarp. Um, this one again is the PSTM eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so if we go inside, you can see it's pretty roomy inside of here. I've just staked down four corners, that's it. And most of the time that would be good. If your weather is a little more aggressive, then you know, put a few more stakes in. You know, just adjust it to your circumstances. So here I am in, inside. <coughs> I got plenty of room for myself. <coughs> as, it's, as it's set up right now, I can sit up just barely inside of here. Like I say, I could pull my adjusting straps for my tent pole adapters. Like I say, they are adjustable. I could pull them in some more and that will push the, front, the top up. So if I want to do that, I can always do that with no problem. Now, you notice, I mean, I've got a little floppiness here between. I'm only staked out in four places here. For most conditions, that's all you really need. If it's rougher weather or whatever, you know, our tarps have tons of tie outs. So for using one of our tarps, you'll have plenty of places to tie out. Uh, around the edges so you can secure this thing down I've I've used our gear in up to 50 mile an hour winds rain pouring like crazy blowing horizontal and been dry as a bone inside so I you know these are capable of being absolutely tied down solid uh, but this is just a simple setup so this is the shelter base with the uh, tent pole adapters that come with it. I've added the tent poles, which is optional. You can use your own. And again, I'll tag it on the website as to what length I'm using. And you could go a little more than that, or probably wouldn't want to go less, but you might go a little more if you want, whatever, because these things are adjustable. Um, and then I just threw one of our tarps. This is a PSTM which is eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. Um, you could also use our PSTL, the 10 foot by 10 foot. That'll work fine. That's a little, you'll have a little extra out on the edges, but you can tie all that down. But if you look in here, look, I can reach a whole arm's length on this side of me or the other side of me and I got plenty of space in here uh, plenty of space in here where I could put my pack or other kind of gear or whatever to keep the you know to keep things out of the weather or whatever I could I could cook in the center here off of a uh, propane butane, butane cook stove or whatever and I could be out of the weather here. And uh, you know, this would be really nice. So anyway, so the, the intention of the shelter base is to allow people an opportunity 
to use tent poles, whether they're from us or something you have, to throw a tarp, any tarp or ours, whatever you want, uh, throw it over the top and create a shelter. And then if you're using, like say you've got with you uh, for uh, thermal protection, say you've got our uh, Osni poncho liner and our Osni blanket, you could come right in here and use the two of those, snap them, snap together, and lay right here on the on the uh, shelter base, and you could be out of the wind and out of the rain or whatever, and you know you're you're suited, ready to go here. So that's the uh, that's the intention of it, and uh, it's kind of just a simple thing, but it allows a lot of possibilities, and some and I'll show you a bunch of things that we'll do with this as time goes on as well. But I uh, just wanted to introduce this to you. Very nice little piece. Simple but practical and gives, gives a lot of potential. Uh, if the ground is soggy or whatever, it'll give you some protection from that. And, uh, and you'll be good to go, man. You can throw our beast on top of this as well. The beast is a little, is a little bit smaller than this is. So it'll easily fit on here and there'll be some overlap. So you can do that. Uh, so you could just use this as a ground cloth for the beast uh, if you wanted to. But um, the intention is to be able to use it without the beast. Let's say for backpacking, you've got your own lightweight sleeping pad uh, that you, know, you roll up, the air comes out of it or whatever. Well, you might carry that.